The east coast of Malaysia is known to have some of the most beautiful islands throughout the country. Surrounded by clear emerald waters and remarkable coral reefs, Pulau Tioman is a tropical island paradise. In this video, we're going to share with you some guides and tips about traveling to Pulau Tioman. Located on the east coast of Peninsular Malaysia, this island is known for its laid-back villages, peaceful beaches and lush tropical forests. Back in the old days, Pulau Tioman was known to be a refuge for sailors, fishermen and traders to get fresh water and firewood. The villages or kampongs around the island were predominantly a settlement for fishermen. Today, the waters around Pulau Tioman is gazetted as a marine park. This means the coral reefs and marine life around the island is conserved and protected. And because it's a marine park, there'll also be an entrance fee to enter the island. There are a number of things to do on the island, but mainly snorkeling and diving is the most famous attraction here. Besides those two, there's also hiking, kayaking, fishing, spa treatments, and cycling. There are multiple packages, day trips, and activities offered by local tour agents throughout the island. Some day trips can take you around the island by boat and explore some interesting sites like waterfalls, quiet beaches, and awesome snorkeling spots. If you like to explore scuba diving, there's quite a number of party-approved dive centers throughout Tioman, where you can get trained and certified as a diver. We've also got a video on how we got our open water diving certification in Tioman. We'll leave the link in the description below if you guys are interested. Tioman is one of the few islands in Malaysia that has a duty-free status, which means alcohol here is cheap. There are quite a few duty-free shops around Kampong Tekek, but this one is the biggest and it's located near the airport. The main way to get to Pulau Tioman is by taking the ferry from one of these two jetties, the Tanjung Gemuk Jetty or the Mersing Jetty. You can opt to either take the bus or drive to the jetty. If you're planning to drive, there are open-air long-term car parks at the jetties. The parking fees are charged based on daily rates. One thing to note is that the car parks can get full really quickly during the peak seasons and long weekends. Both jetties have different ferry schedules depending on the tides. You can check online or request from the resort or hotel for the latest schedules. We'll also leave a link in the description below. The journey to the island would take two to two and a half hours, and there will be five stops on Tioman Island. The resort will inform you on which stop you should get off at. Be sure to get off at the correct jetty because otherwise you might have to hire a sea taxi to get to the correct one. Pulau Tioman has several kampongs mostly located on the west coast of the island. Kampong Tekek is the main administrative center of Tioman, where you can find an ATM machine, post office, school, hospital, and a duty-free shop here. The northern part of the island is closer to most of the dive sites and coral reefs. Whereas the southern part has most of the bigger resorts and even an 18-hole golf course. On the other side of the island is Kampong Juara, which is said to have one of the quietest beaches in all of Tioman. Overall, there is a wide range of accommodations available in Pulau Tioman. You can find anything from budget homestays, dorms to mid-range resorts, chalets and 5-star luxury resorts. Apart from Kampong Tekek, the other kampongs don't have big roads or cars. Locals usually get around on motorbikes. For tourists, there's the option of renting bicycles. The rental race goes by the hour or even for the whole day. Otherwise, there's also the sea taxis, 
which are basically boats that can take you pretty much anywhere around the island and the fees are based on distance. Most of the villages are connected by a path and it is possible to walk from one village to another. The best time to visit Tiovan is during the hot season which is between March and October. The island is mostly closed to tourists during the monsoon season from mid-November to February. Tioman is very much an island to relax and simply enjoy its natural beauty. We recommend staying for at least two nights to slowly unwind and enjoy the laid-back island life. Tioman has a dense forest where you can hike through as well. Some trails are nicely paved, while some are challenging rugged jungle trails. Trekking through these trails takes you to some interesting spots like quiet beaches and waterfalls. Generally, to stay on a path, all you need to do is to follow the power lines. And most importantly, bring mosquito repellents. You could also book a day trip through a tour agent who can offer you a variety of different packages like taking a jeep to Juara Beach, touring interesting sites in Tioman, or simply getting to hidden beaches without having to hike. There are many travel packages being offered online by the resorts in Tioman. In my opinion, this is the best option to get the most value out of your trip. These packages may include accommodation, activities, ferry tickets, and sometimes even food. Overall, Pulau Tioman is perfect for anyone who's looking to chill and relax. There's really no need for much planning because everything from food, activities and tours are available pretty much anywhere on the island. That is all for this guide. We'll also be sharing some useful links in the description below so you can check that out for more information. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Do leave us a comment if you have any questions and also hit that like and subscribe button if you'd like to see more contents like this. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!